Hi, first graders. We are on Domain 2, Lesson 9, The Pyramid Pantry. Our first word is balanced diet. Say balanced diet. Balanced diet means a diet that includes a variety of foods from each of the six food groups, grains, fruits, vegetables, milk, meat and beans, and fat. The next word is nutrients. Say nutrients. Nutrients are the parts of food that provide nourishment for the body to stay healthy. And the last word is pyramid. Say pyramid. Pyramid is a shape with triangular sides. Hi there, I'm Chef Steph, a friend of Dr. Wellbody's. Welcome to my restaurant, the Pyramid Pantry. Dr. Wellbody eats lunch here almost every day. It's a very cool restaurant, if I do say so myself. Do you know what a pyramid is? It is the shape with triangular sides. My restaurant is shaped like a pyramid. The menu is like a pyramid too. The food we serve is delicious, but that's not all, it's nutritious. That means it's good for you. Have you ever heard of vitamins and minerals? They are nutrients that your body needs to stay alive. Nutritious foods supply your body with the nutrients you need. They give you the energy you need to play and learn all day long. They keep you healthy and they help you grow. But not all foods have the same amount of nutrients. So which foods are best for you? Let's find out. My pyramid menu is one way to help you figure this all out. The foods are divided into groups. Each group has a different color stripe on the pyramid. Orange is for grains like bread and cereal. Green is for vegetables like carrots and green beans. Red is for fruits like apples and oranges. Blue is for milk and milk products. Purple is for meat and beans. Some stripes are wider than others. You should choose most of your foods from the groups with the wider stripes because you need more of these foods to stay healthy. Each stripe gets narrower as it goes up the pyramid. That's because every food group has some foods that are better for you than others. There is one skinny yellow stripe on the pyramid too. Do you see it? It stands for oils and for fats like butter and mayonnaise. Why do you think this stripe is so skinny? You need to eat a little oil or fat every day, but not very much. Oils help you grow, keep you warm, protect your bones, help your brain think, and keep your skin and hair healthy. Some oils are better for you than others. For example, olive oil and canola oil are better choices than margarine and mayonnaise. What do I hear? Is all this talk of food making your tummy growl? That's what happens when you are hungry. If you were very hungry, your legs might even feel a little weak. You might even feel a little bit cranky. These are signs that your body needs food. Time to look more closely at the pyramid menu. Grains are special types of grasses. Wheat, rice, oats, barley, and rye are all grains. Foods that belong to this group are either whole grains or refined grains. For example, bread is, a, is in the grain group. Some breads like whole wheat bread are made from whole grains. Other breads like white bread are made from refined grains. Refined grains have had most of their healthy parts taken out. Whereas whole grains still have all the nutrients your body needs to grow. Whole wheat bread, brown rice, whole wheat spaghetti, whole wheat crackers, oatmeal, rice cakes, and popcorn are all good choices. Always choose smaller amounts of re refined grain foods like white bread, white bagels, and cornflakes. And remember to choose only a little bit of sugary refined grain foods like cupcakes, donuts, and sweetened cereals. Too much sugar is not good for your body. Look at the picture and tell me what foods you might think belong to the next group on the pyramid pantry. Hmm, that's right, if you said vegetables. Vegetables come in a rainbow of colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and even white. Did you know that the color of the vegetable tells you what it can do for your body? For example, dark green veggies like broccoli and spinach help build strong teeth and bones. Orange vegetables like carrots help you see well. Fried vegetables like onion rings and french fries are less healthy for your body because they are all cooked in 
oil, and fat. So just remember to choose a rainbow of vegetables, raw or cooked, but hardly ever fried, and your body will get the nutrients it needs. Raise your hand if you like to eat fruit. Fruits are delicious, and they also come in beautiful colors. Does anyone see one of your favorite fruits in the picture? Hmm, I like pineapples, so I see that. Just like vegetables, it is important to choose a rainbow of fruits to get all the nutrients your body needs. The best fruits to choose from are fresh fruits, like the ones you can see in the picture. Pineapples, oranges, bananas, grapes, pears, and blueberries. Dried fruits and canned fruits like jams and jellies and fruit pies are all good too. Just don't eat too many of them. Can anyone guess why? That's right, because they often contain a whole lot of sugar. Look at this picture. Tell me what you see. This is the milk group. But as you can see, it includes other things as well. Products made from milk, like cheese and yogurt. These things provide your body with calcium and protein, things it needs to make strong teeth and bones and also to help you grow. It's best to choose low-fat milk and milk foods like skim milk, low-fat cheese, and low-fat yogurt. Eat fewer fatty or sweet foods like American cheese, frozen yogurt, ice cream, and milkshakes. The last group is meat and beans. Beef, pork, chicken, fish, and turkey all belong to this group. But look at the picture. Do you see anything else that doesn't seem to belong? Hmm. Yes, eggs and beans. So why are they there? They contain, pro they contain protein just like meat. These different foods all work together in the same way to help your body grow and move because they all contain protein. It's best to eat the meats grilled or roasted instead of fried in fatty cooking oil or butter. That means you should choose smaller amounts of fried chicken, chicken nuggets, hamburgers, and fish sticks. Now we have looked at food in all six categories or groups included in the food pyramid. Can you name the six categories with me? The most important thing to remember is to eat a balanced diet. That means you must choose a variety of foods from each of the food groups. Eating only grains or only meats will not provide your body with all the nutrients it needs. Your body needs foods from each group on the pyramid to help it grow. Are you ready to order some healthy meals from Chef Steph's menu? Don't forget, it's important to eat three, that's one, two, three, healthy meals a day. And also to eat some healthy snacks too. For breakfast, how about some oatmeal with some fresh strawberries? Adding a glass of orange juice is a healthy choice as well. For lunch, may I recommend my roasted turkey sandwich with lettuce and tomato on whole wheat bread? How about some carrot sticks with yogurt dip, followed by an apple? A glass of cold milk is not only a yummy addition, but it's a healthy one too. And for dinner, three bean vegetarian chili with a baked sweet potato. For dessert, low fat pudding with peaches. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Snacking between meals is fine as long as you make healthy choices. What would be better for your body? Ice cream or a, a low-fat yogurt with fruit? Potato chips or whole wheat crackers and cheese? A candy bar or an orange? Remember, healthy snacks will give you longer-lasting energy and a healthier body. That brings me back to my pyramid. Did you notice the stairs going up the side? Do you know why they are there? To remind you to keep moving, it's very important to not just eat healthy foods, but to also be physically active every single day. That means you should be participating in skateboarding, swimming, riding your bike, climbing in the playground, or any other sport that you would like to do. Keeping active helps you stay in the right weight for your body. It keeps your bones and muscles in good shape too. It makes your heart and lungs stronger. If you get into the good habit of having fun while you are moving, it will help you stay healthy for the rest of your life. Okay, that's the end of today's read aloud, so you may go ahead and click on the Google form and answer the questions about it.